What's going on everybody? Michael here. And in this one, we're going to be going over my bow, my arrows, my broadheads, my release, my archery setup for 2019-2020 archery season. Keep in mind, I didn't have a lot of money to spend and this is my first year archery hunting. So all this is new to me and my budget was under $600 and I came out well under $600, so I'm happy and I'm shooting good. So let's get into this one, y'all. Hmm, no, that didn't work. Let's see. All right, y'all, so here's my bow. It's a Bear Cruiser G2. I absolutely love it. Um, right now I have it set at a 55 pound draw weight because that's what's comfortable for me to be able to sit down and draw back, you know, most people don't think about the situation where you might be sitting down to pull your bow back. That takes more strength. And I noticed that when I was up at 60 pounds and I was sitting down, I could, I was really struggling. So I lowered it down to 50 or 55, sorry, to uh, get be, be comfortable on the ground, you know, in a ground blind and whatnot. And here I'll show you. This is nothing but comfortable to pull back. Me, always, I see people pulling their bows back all sorts of crazy way. Me, I just bring it up eye level and it's all natural. See how natural that is? But yeah, that's my bow. It's in a woodland orange camo color. Um, it has the four pin trophy ridge sight with a level, which is awesome. Very adjustable sight. Um, very easy to learn how to adjust. You just need Allen wrenches. Um, I got the bow zeroed it, zero, sighted in within 20 shots. So uh, that's cool. I've never sighted in a bow before in my life. So that was awesome. Um, I just had to look up a video and basically to tell me to follow the arrow instead of, yeah, whatever. It's different from a rifle, but no big deal. But yeah, this is my bow. It comes with everything you see on it at Bass Pro. This color scheme right now is $200. Mark down. Go get you one. $200. This is a $400 bow, brand new. But they marked down this color scheme for some reason. So I took way advantage of that. Because I got a $400 bow for $200. Can't beat it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention. It does come with the 5 arrow quiver. I just, um, I never uh, shoot or walk around with the quiver on. I usually have the quiver in my bag, but yes, it does come with a quiver. Sorry, I didn't put that in there. Now, as for my practice arrows, here, let me turn the light on. These are the Blackout XSNV 400 spine um, blazer veins arrows. Um, these are great. Um, very cost effective and by that I mean you can spend less than forty dollars on a box of six of these arrows which is absolutely great um, hundred grain field tip I don't know the exact total weight of the um, arrow but I know I'm shooting right around 500 grains now my broadheads are the Magnus Stinger Buzz Cut. I absolutely love these things. They are so nasty. I want 100 grains again. Um, keeping it all even so I didn't have to adjust very much. Uh, have these set it in good at 20 yards. I'm comfortable. Um, 30 yards I'm still comfortable but I'm not going to push it any further than that. Um, this is my first year bow hunting. I am only pulling back 55 pounds. My draw length is only 27 inches. So I'm not going to push it past 30 yards until I feel like I'm comfortable shooting out past that. But that's my broadheads. Alrighty, y'all. Now that you've seen my bow, you've seen my arrows, let's take her outside. Let's do some shooting and... Let me show you how well it shoots. Alrighty y'all, I made it out back. My target, uh, right there. Um, 
23 yards on the rangefinder from these steps. So uh, let me find somewhere to set the camera up and let's just do some shooting. The main thing about your first year in archery hunting is just practice, 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 practice. You can never shoot too much. All right, now I want you all to keep in mind while I'm shooting, my bow is tuned for those broadheads, not field points right now. But this is just going to show the consistency of the bow. And honestly, if anything goes wrong here, it's me because this is a very accurate bow. See how natural that was? Oh yeah, these field points are shooting way to the left. Way to the left. That's still pretty consistent, but I mean, that's just the way my field points are shooting. Here, we'll walk up. So we got two arrows pretty much touching right there. One, I may have pulled a little bit, but it's a very consistent bow. Like I said, my bow's not tuned for the field points, though. I'm just kind of aiming at the center of the target. I think those two arrows just hit each other. Oh yeah, that's a much better group. Just had to warm up a little bit, that's all. Walking up to the target here. Oh yeah, much better. Like I said, my field points are just shooting to the left a bit. But oh yeah, that's a great group. I'd take that any day. Um, that gives me confidence to go out into the deer woods. You know, if my field if my field points were shooting like this, I'd be happy. Then I'd go and test my broadheads. And if your broadhead hits, you know, or your field point is hitting, or in within an half inch or an inch you're good to go because um, you know the blades one and an eighth of an inch anyway so but yeah that's a much better group
All right, y'all, so on this last group, I'm not even gonna lie, I wasn't really even trying. It's still a really good group, though. Like, I was just shooting the bow to get those shot, that shot from behind, but check this out. Like I said, I wasn't really aiming. I was just kind of pulling back and shooting, but that's a damn good group right there. All right, you guys, well, that's gonna conclude our review of the Bear Cruiser G2 budget archery hunting setup for 2019 2020 i hope you all guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and i will see you in the next video